250 Rhino here. We wanted to show you some break-in and maintenance on this vehicle. You can actually order it from us, fully assembled. Um, makes it really easy, and for the money and the cost for us to assemble it for you, I highly recommend that. Um, just makes it easy when you get it off the crate, you turn the key, it starts up, and we've already PDI and tested and done everything. If you do get it in the crate, there is some assembly that's required. Uh, the wheels will not be on it. Um, oftentimes you'll have to put the racks on it and the handlebars will come flat. You won't have to do any electrical or anything like that, just nuts, bolts, and accessories. After you do get it assembled and you're going to start it, obviously make sure it's got gas in it. And then uh, if you turn it over and start it, it's going to take a little longer for that gas to pump up to it. But basically you're going to make sure the choke's on, get it started. Once you get it started, you're going to want to break it in. You're not going to want to get on it and just go ride it for an hour or two. The first three rides are the most important rides of this vehicle. So you're going to want to do three heat cycles. You're going to want to start it, let it warm up, give it a small short ride, come back, turn it off, let it cool down. While you're letting it cool down, you're going to want to start to check all the nuts and bolts. Make sure that nothing got missed. It doesn't matter if you own a Honda, a Yamaha, a Kawasaki. If it's a new vehicle, nuts and bolts do rattle loose. It doesn't matter what unit it is or what brand or style. You always want to check that, especially during safety. Anytime you're going out to ride the vehicle, you always want to look over it, make sure your chain's okay, make sure nothing's coming loose. Um, so doing that, uh, you want to go through and check everything. If you come back here, I'm going to show you the chain. If you see these two chain adjusters right here, you want these to be even. You don't want to just adjust one or the other. You have to adjust both of them equally. So you'll want to loosen these bolts here, and that's going to allow the chain in, this, in the bar to go back and forth. Right now, it's pretty tight. So it can, it's got a chain tensioner on it up here, which also keeps it tight. So make sure that these are always even. That way your, your um, axle bar does not get out of line, which causing your four-wheeler to run at a, at a different angle. So if these are even, you'll be in good shape. Um, other than that, this is a pretty straightforward vehicle. Um, changing the oil, after you give it those first three break-in rides, I do recommend giving it a, a new oil treatment. So we run 10W40 oil, non-synthetic and there'll be a dipstick that you can actually measure the oil. Usually this is going to require a little bit more than a quart, probably about a quart and a half. And as you can see over here, they make it really easy. You check the oil right there. And it, this also has a glass, so you don't even have to unhook that. You can look down here and you can see right here that there is half, which is the perfect amount of oil for this. You can also see that it's very clean, it's a brand new unit. Um, there's your dipstick and you'll be able to see if it's full or not full and if you need to add oil. Um, on the carburetor, there is an idle screw. If it will not stay idling, you can adjust the idle screw, twist it to the right to idle it up, twist it to the left to idle it down, and then you're gonna wanna make sure that it idles. So if it's not idling when you get it, you may need to adjust the carburetor. Um, the other thing is, is on the clutch, there is a, this is the clutch perch. You can adjust this right here to make this clutch tighter. This will get loose eventually and you'll want to twist this out to tighten the cable because this cable will stretch. And that's going to allow you to, to have an, a working operating clutch. So um, I think that's about it. If you got questions, don't hesitate. Get on our forum board, send us an email, give us a call. We do have a mechanic that uh, answers technical questions for you if you got any. And uh, be sure to check out the riding demonstration video and the uh, assembly video, and you should be good to go. Thanks for visiting.